and welcome back to the channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries, and in this video or segment, I'd like to clear up some confusion I see in the industry, and that is, what is the difference between a qualification tester and a certification tester? And you might pay attention because there's a big difference between the two dollar-wise, okay? And you know, I was at the CDA trade show or expo this year, and by the way, it's a great trade show if you're able to attend an audio video show. It's got some really great stuff at the show. But anyway, I spent probably 20, 25 minutes in the learning lab with a guy and uh, trying to explain to him why the $1,400 little tester he had just bought was not a certification tester, even though the packaging and the literature stated very clearly that the tester was a certifier. Now, it's always in what they don't tell you or the fine print sometimes you've got to look at. And the question is, is it certified to cable to what? And um, if you say a cable is Cat 5E rated or Cat 6 rated, that's actually referring to a standard, okay? And now in the commercial industry, we've had uh, certification testers uh, for quite a while. And it is the only way to prove a cable actually supports CAT6 or CAT5e uh, standards, okay? Now, the standards you'll find were written for lots of applications out there. And, you know, over the years now, uh, if we're talking category cable, CAT5e or 6, whatever it is, in many cases, if we're using that cable for data, we're using it for Ethernet. Now, Ethernet does not use all the parameters uh, that a CAT6 standard actually would test for. And uh, so you'll find for a lot of years there was nothing in the industry uh, between a wire map tester, and these are, you know, $100, you know, a little under that to, you know, upwards of two, three hundred bucks. And if you want to learn what wire mappers do, go look at the intro to data testing on my channel. So there's really nothing between the $100 version and a six, eight, ten thousand dollar $10,000 certifier that was out there in the industry. And, you know, certification testing sometimes is a little on the overkill for folks because uh, we don't need that level of testing and aren't maybe willing to pay for it. But we do need some level of testing that would ensure my customer that the cable I installed actually does work properly. And so we developed over the years what are called qualification testers. Now, qualification testers uh, basically are simulators, and they're going to simulate, you know, a thousand base T Ethernet or power over Ethernet or uh, voice over IP but they can simulate something. And so they'll actually kind of stress test the cable for a thousand base T Ethernet data circuit. And uh, these will look at uh, the wire map or they'll look at the uh, uh, delay skew in the cabling and they'll look at the bit error rates in the cabling and some of the other basics, you know, length of cable, those kinds of things. And, um, but they're not certification testers. But what's neat about them is that we can spit a report at the end of the day. These things can store thousands of results and do copper or fiber with them, and we can actually give the customer some level of testing beyond, and a report, beyond basic wire map testers, okay? Now, they're not certification testers. Now, certification testers go beyond that, and they'll look at the DC resistance, they'll look at the impedance and the cabling, and then they start doing some very high-end testing, like they'll look at, uh, or high-frequency testing, I should say. They'll look at, like, the attenuation in the cabling, which is signal loss. Uh, they'll look at crosstalk a number of different ways. And this is noise or interference between the four pairs in a cattery cable. So there's nearing crosstalk, faring crosstalk, power some crosstalk, and actually a couple more. Uh, the tester will look at what's called return loss, which is a reflected energy. And uh, essentially, a signal passes through a connector. Most of that signal goes past the connector. Some gets reflected back at you. We call it return loss. And if you're making really crappy connectors and things like that up, uh, that can affect the return loss. Uh, and then it'll actually start looking at some very neat things like attenuation to crosstalk ratios and actually compare the two and actually put out some very neat graphs. And uh, so as a, a nice little tester, and it'll look actually look at the headroom in a cabling and let you know how good that cable is compared to a certain standard like Cat5 e or Cat6. So uh, uh, if your buddy comes over and he's got the $1,500 little tester, he wants to say, I'm telling you, it's not a certification tester. It may certify to Ethernet but is it certifying to a standard like Cat 5e or Cat 6? So that's a, a big difference between the two. Again, you'll spend six, eight, ten thousand dollars in certifiers, a thousand, a couple thousand dollars in qualifiers, and in wire mappers, you know, fifty bucks upwards of a couple three hundred bucks. So hopefully that cleared up the confusion for you a little bit. Hey, uh, thanks for coming again. Uh, I'm Ron with Ideal Industries, and I'll plan on seeing you the next time.